welcome back to What RT Nibs with General Disturbance. This is another troll video, I'm afraid. Um, I'm in the Object 261. This is me, um, my account, and there's a pair of trolls on the team. One of them is in the Object 277. The other one is in an Object 430U, and they're both going to troll me and the other RTs during this game. Now, we can see one of them over there. It's the Object 430U in Vazon. The other one... The 277 Ik Rena Jam, and they happen to be on from the same clan. And we'll see that at the end when you see the end of battle results. You can see I'm moving to a firing position. I suddenly notice two tanks, two heavy tanks, or rather heavy tank and a medium, moving with me. And when I try to set up in my position, yeah, they're starting to push me about and just generally troll me. Well, I do my best to throw them off by yeah, driving erratically. And uh, it seems to be having some effect on them, but yep, they are still definitely determined that Arty is not going to play in this game. They're going to interfere with my play, which is contrary to Wargaming's rules. But Wargaming does not do anything about it, and they should. They should ban people who behave like this, because effectively, they're deterring people from playing the game altogether. And if that happens, Wargaming's going to lose money. And Wargaming is a business. And they're not going to like somebody taking away their business from them. So the only way to sort this out is to cancel these accounts. Cancel Ik Rena Gem and Invazon. And make them start again from Tier 1. They've obviously worked their way up to a Tier 10 tank. But they haven't learned to play the game properly. They're determined to be idiots. Now, it's very likely that these two haven't um, worked their way up, that they actually purchased these accounts on eBay. And you can see my evasive driving has actually thrown them off. But all it's done instead is make them go over to try and interfere now with the other RT in the game. We've got a GWE100 and a Conqueror gun carriage, and I'm afraid both of them are now getting trolled. Or rather, one of them is getting trolled. I think it's the GWE. I've said I've reported Object 277, Object 430U, and lo and behold, it actually makes them stop what they were doing with the others. The 430U has come over against the edge of the map. The 277, who appeared to be interfering with the GWE, he's no longer doing so. And yes, the 430U's come back to me. Now, I'm not going to waste any ammunition on them, but I did try to fend off that Object 430U to stop him coming over and interfering. And, in fact, actually, his teammate turns up. And um, so instead, I decide to drive my way out of the situation as much as I can. We're losing the game now because of these people. We're two tanks down on the enemy. RT's not getting proper shots on the enemy. And I thought that if I evaded them long enough that it would actually give my teammates and the other artists a chance to actually uh, get some game time and shoot at the enemy. Well, they've actually even left me and I thought at this point that they were going off to actually play the game rather than muck about. In fact, I think it was the Leopard 1 coming back who actually uh, thought that these people were trolls. Well, instead, I'm actually going to get a chance to shoot at the enemy. Right, we've got a T95 FV4201. That was Klaus. Yes, I've got the Klaus mod. <laughs> I got a near hit on the T95. Picked up 196 hit points of damage. Going for the E100 now, but waiting for the reload to come in. I'm afraid the Leopard 1 only scared the trolls away for a short period of time. And they are coming back. Rounds out the E100. Get a hit on his rear for 177. Looks like they are taking some damage, and I suspect the trolls are actually playing the game at the moment, but I wonder how long that will remain. The Leopard 1's decided to pull away because we've lost all the tanks out in the field. We're now five tanks down on the enemy, and there's an Object 430U fairly close by, and I realise that I have to move because if the 430U sees me, I'm going to be out the game just like that, so I have to pick a new spot to shoot from. And I turn to aim at the Object 430U, lining up the shots, and the Leopard 1 gets the kill. But when I turn to face the T95 FB4201, 
Yes, I'm afraid the trolls have come back and now they're trying to interfere with me again. So all I can do at this point is back up against the edge of the map and try and get some shots on that T-95. But it's very certain that the enemy's going to win this game. My shot there just went to the left. I realised I was about to get spotted as well, but uh, I moved over to these trees hoping that I might be able to hide. Unfortunately, I have been seen. Six sensors gone off and the 277 on the enemy team fires at me. And I realised as well I couldn't really park next door to the Conqueror because if the enemy RT fires in my direction, he's going to be the recipient. I fire a auto-aim shot at the FB4201, get a hit. But um, I'm afraid we've lost the GWE100. There goes the Conqueror gun carriage and all we've got left is this troll in Basel. And I get killed by the T95 FB4201. And it won't be long before the troll is taken out of the game by the Object 277. There. Game over. And I say that that a pretty good uh, chance that their trolling actually took enough guns out of the game to uh, allow the enemy to win this game fairly easily because remember it's not just the RT gun that's out of the game it's their guns as well so that's one fifth of their t of the team is not playing the game three tanks the one that's being trolled and the two trolls so wargaming when are you going to do something about it this is the uh, end of battle results well wrong screen that's the better screen <laughs> yes um you can see that uh, I only got a little bit of damage on the enemy in that game. I did get some damage, but not much. 743 hit points. Uh, the trolls, well, there's one of them right down at the bottom. Did no damage to the enemy whatsoever. No kills and only 110 XP for turning up. Invazon did actually fire at the enemy. Got 1,250 hit points of damage. No kills and 121 XP for turning up. But basically, they completely ruined the game. And you can see I actually made a loss on the game because I'm running premium consumables and I had to pay for repair of the vehicle. And of course, I didn't have enough shots and enough damage on the enemy to make up for the repair ammunition costs overall and the consumables. So it's a big loss for me because it, remember the premium consumables as well. I actually buy those in advance. So it doesn't show up in the team list. But uh, yes, trust me, I did have premium consumables. I earned uh, only 169 XP from the game, unfortunately, but that's it. That's the only profit I made out of the game. So let's have a look at the details of the people concerned. This is the Object 277 driver. He's in the Fells clan and uh, he hasn't got a very good personal rating. Absolutely really bad win rate, 46.1. If you were an average player, you'd have something like 48%, 49%. This guy is worse than average. In other words, it's very likely that this player is actually very, very poor indeed. And it's very possible that he purchased this account and um, uh, he just bought it off eBay because it doesn't have that many games. 8,656 games, but um, very, very few games. And uh, considering this is a tier 10 tank that he's got, I suspect that, yes, this person is actually uh, a purchased account. We can see that um, uh, from the list here that there aren't that many um, premium accounts, uh, premium tanks in this list. Um, although there are a number of tanks there. Oh, there's, there are a few premium tanks. Sorry, there's a Barask in there. But whoever actually um, sold this account, this account probably uh, got that for free out of the marathon. I'm looking for any more premium tanks i can't see many in fact i can't see any at all actually there's the chinu guy that's a premium um oh he's got a he's got a lefty so uh, yes this person has obviously got a lot of tanks but hasn't learned the basic tenets of the game that you do not troll people okay let's have a look at the other player the one that actually um in the 430u it's got slightly better personal rating 
still pretty poor on the win rate. In fact, very poor on the win rate, 47.18. And again, Fells clan. So obviously we will be contacting the commander of the Fells clan and reminding him that he actually has a pair of trolls in his team. And it's very likely that Wargaming uh, will be looking at them uh, in terms of uh, potentially uh, punishing them if they behave like this. Uh, they'll certainly more than likely... Um, uh, encourage the wrath of a lot of people and a lot of people will then have antipathy towards the Fells clan because Fells are allowing in a pair of trolls into their clan. So uh, yes, the clan commander, you ought to really consider throwing these people out of your clan. Uh, you've got 84 members, you could do without a pair of trolls, get rid of these people, put them uh, back into the general pool, say they're no longer w wanted because they're actually bringing a poor reputation on Fells um, by doing what they're doing. And Wargaming, in the meantime, can you please get rid of these people? They do inhibit your ability to sell and, and keep players, or sell to players and keep players. And you're likely to end up uh, losing customers because of people like this. And the only way to deal with it is to give these people suspensions or bans to remind them that if they don't want to play by the rules they don't have to play the game and wargaming doesn't uh, have to let them play the game because what they're doing is potentially ruining wargaming's business so um i hope you um take note of these two names in vassion in vasson and ik rena jern uh, of the fells clan or soon to be out of the fells clan i should hope thanks for watching